Look What's Cooking is brought to you by the Culinary Institute of Virginia. Hi, I'm Bonnie Johnson, and I'm here with chef instructor Greg Burrows from the Culinary Hi. Institute of Virginia, and we have a beautiful oyster stew. Yes, it's getting that time of year. I always think about around the holidays, oysters. Uh, wife loves to fry them. Uh, so I thought I'd do something simple that anybody could do, and you don't have to get out the fry daddy and, and worry about, you know, the mess and, uh, the, and the fire. And, and really, really simple. We're going to have the recipe at mm -hmm. WTKR.com, but walk us through the steps. Well, basically what we did was we uh, cut up some leeks. You could use onions, you could use anything, and I sautéed it in just a little bit of butter. You don't want to brown it because it gives it a different flavor, and we want a nice white stew. So just when it gets translucent, uh, at that point you've, you know, separated the liqueur, the natural juice from the oysters off to the side, and you pour that in with a, uh, you can use half and half, uh, but if you use half and half, don't bring it to the boil because it'll break. Or you can use heavy cream, uh, makes it really, really rich. Uh, and then add the oysters and let it come up to a, you know, a, a simmer. And when the oysters are uh, lacy right around the edge, it's done. And talk to us about lacy because we actually have a tight shot, but tell us what that means. Well, as the oyster cooks, it starts to plump up a little bit. And those little bitty outside, you know, uh, pieces of skin, they just get this nice ripple lace. Uh, look to it, and that's where you can really tell, okay, I'm there. If you overcook it, it's going to be rubbery, it's going to be tough, uh, and it's just not going to be pleasant. It doesn't have the mouthfeel that you're going for. Well, and I was telling Greg earlier, you know, it's like shrimp. You, they don't need to cook a long time. No, uh -uh, Oysters don't need bit. to cook a long time either. You mm -hmm. flavored this with some Tabasco to make it nice and pretty and a little yeah. spicy, but you can kind of do whatever. You add some potatoes, some bacon, and some bacon, some and bread, some bread. And, and it doesn't get any better than that. Yummy, yummy. If you want to try it, WTKR.com for the recipe. For more information about the color, Culinary Institute, chefva.com. Look what's cooking.